Investigation into the duck boat tragedy in Branson, Missouri continues today as investigators raise the boat from under 80 feet of water. Channel 2's Lauren Freeman is live in the newsroom with the very latest. Lauren. Keith, this all comes three days after the boat sank during very strong winds, killing 17 people. Divers back in the water today in Branson, Missouri, securing cables to the sunken duck boat before raising it to the surface. The boat emerging from under 80 feet of murky water, unused life jackets still hanging from the roof. And the regulations require that uh, personal flotation devices be on board for all passengers. Uh, and the uh, decision to, uh, to don those PFDs uh, is made uh, as an operational decision for the captain on board. The wreckage now goes to the NTSB, which is investigating Thursday's sinking that killed 17 people, including nine members of Tia Coleman's family. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Her husband and three children were among the dead. Since I've had a home, it's always been filled. It's always been filled with little feet and laughter. Officials say wind conditions Thursday evening were near hurricane strength, with waves as high as six feet. The tour boat company has voluntarily suspended operations during the investigation. Meanwhile, the private inspector has come forward saying he warned the company about a potentially dangerous design flaw last summer. Since my inspection, I, I've convinced my family not to, not to ride the ducks. The NTSB will look at multiple factors in the incident, including the design of the boat and how it was operated. Keith.